if me that do all of that by myself, girl, me mash that up long time. Me, me ruin things for myself sometimes, and it's honest too. So we're age 25, we need to feel drive with bends out. You know, when you, you don't have God, you don't have purpose. If you don't have purpose, you don't have life. It's so embarrassing, all of the love I see living inside of me. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I thought of doing 12 things that 2023 taught me. So if you're interested, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And basically, this is just like some life lessons that 2023 has taught me. And as I said before, if you're interested, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. So the first thing that 2023 taught me is a life without purpose is not a life at all. So you might say, what do I mean by that? It means that if you don't have a purpose, if you don't have like a goal you're trying to accomplish, if you don't see your value, then your life is basically nothing. And that's one thing that 2023 taught me. So last year it's really many times last year you know 2023 me sit down sometime and i say all right what exactly am i working towards what exactly is my purpose is it just to go to school and go get a job and do whatever is that the goal or is that the purpose or do i want to do something more or do i want to actually make an impact what exactly do i want to do with my life like bigger than school and bigger than getting a job what do I want to do with myself? And that was one thing, the first thing that 2023 taught me, that a life without a purpose is no life at all. And then the more I try to find out, right, what is purpose? What does it mean when somebody has like purpose for their lives? And what I really came to realize in 2023 is that the only person who can give you purpose, who can give you like your real purpose, your true purpose, is God so it's like if you don't have God you don't have purpose if you don't have purpose you don't have life so that's my um, interpretation of it and basically that's what I learned last year that in order for you to know your purpose you have to know God first and if you don't know God you don't know your purpose with purpose if you don't know your purpose then you don't really have life so that's the first thing that 2023 taught me that you have to know your purpose and in order to do that you have to know God because guess what if you don't know your purpose, you're going to turn to other things to give you purpose. And sometimes, more than likely, the things that you turn to aren't going to be good for you. So, it's best you get the purpose from the source of exactly what you're supposed to do with your life, right? So, that's the first thing that 2023 taught me. The second thing that 2023 taught me is don't chase money. <laughs> Let money chase you. Listen to me. You guys don't want to meet me early on. You don't want to even meet me in a, like, um... Let's say late 2022, early 2023. Me, I tell you, say me, that's something else. Like, if you ever listen to the way I'm talking, yeah, that's just something wrong there. Something is wrong right there. But basically, don't chase money. Let money chase you. Because, like, even the Bible says, money is the root of all evil. And you see, the more you become like money hungry, like all you can see is money, 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 money. And you don't care whose feelings are hurting in the process, you don't care who you have to step on in order to get there, then that is a whole nother story. But the point is, do not chase money. Because when you chase money, money are going to run from you. Like, it's the honest truth. If you make money like your only goal, your only purpose, like just money, 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 that is not a life. That is not good and that is not healthy. All of us need money in order to survive. We need money. Nobody to say, oh, you can't work towards your goals and you can't work towards becoming financially stable and you will take care of yourself. It's a different story. That's a different thing from being obsessed with money. And especially us like young people, we're like, oh, we need to, by, by age 25, we need to feel drive a bend out. You know, we need to feel the certain things and sometimes certain thoughts come to your head and you're like, okay, we need to get this extra amount of money. We need it, we need it, we need it. And basically you do things that are not morally right in order to get there then that is just a big no that's a big wrong 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 so don't chase money let money chase you and actually 
when they look like for me, when we actually kind of come to the realization that okay, you know what, the more you keep money for your man, like money, 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 money every day, it just no, it I go literally seem longer and I go take like longer to come. I used to the minute me relax myself and I said, listen, cool it, cool it, just cool it, and then you literally see money around behind you, which is crazy, but do not chase money, let money chase you. So next up, the third thing that 2023 taught me is trust your gut slash instinct. You don't know how many times in 2023 my instincts that tell me some things in a way. You see when you ignore it and you brush it off and even with me sometimes and you know, sometimes more than say I right, me it's kinda like an overthinker sometimes so sometimes I say, no man, let's overthink it. My mind is uh, tell me, let's overthink it. But guess what? Listen to your gut. Listen to your instincts. You see, when your man are tell you say something goes up, ninety five percent chance that it actually really goes up. So listen to your instincts and listen to your mind. Do not brush it off. More than likely, your gut feeling is actually telling you something. So actually, pay attention. Fourth thing that twenty twenty three taught me is that everyone who seems say quote unquote nice or not everyone who seems that like they have good intention for you actually have good intention for, towards you or for you if you get what I mean I say and basically I lead this back to how sometimes the devil dresses in sheep clothing sometimes you might meet up on a classes and at the time you might not even realize that something or someone is a classes which in a Jamaican term we love say classes 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 but sometimes there are just some people and there are just some circumstances that when you really take a t take your time and you like look at it, you're like, I would say, well, uh, this situation is a whole crisis situation. This person is a whole crisis. This person, and when you say crisis, it's like this person I walk with so much issues. This person I walk with such bad intentions for you. Like, as in, this person is not healthy. Quote unquote, when you meet certain people. And the point is, not everyone don't be so quick to distress any and everybody not because them seem nice and they seem like oh they have good intentions and them seem like them fear and it seem like them is a good person nobody said judge um jump the gun and judge and whatever whatever but at the same time keep one ear open because you never know this is to me some people you know people for like decades and you still don't know them and that's just the honest truth so not everyone who approaches you but claims them have good intentions actually have good intentions so at the end of the day you have to know for yourself that listen may not give everybody the benefit of the doubt but always have one eye open so basically that is the takeaway for me from 2023 like not everyone who dresses in sheep's clothing is actually a sheep sometimes it's the walking the devil a walk towards and approach you and you just have to have discernment you have to be able to tell the difference and know whether or not somebody approached you with good intentions, yes or no. The fifth thing that 2023 taught me is that God is the only one who can actually give you like real peace and real like peace of mind. Like he's the only one who can give you that peace. Like when I say peace, when I mean like this quietness, that's, you know what peace is, right? The calmness, the quietness, just the... You're not worried about nothing. Like you're at peace with yourself, you're at peace with the world. You just like let me tell you what. For me, before 2023, me not think me ever have them the peace there before. But me I tell you say in 2023, me experience a different level of peace. So me tell you say God give me a different like you know when certain things that would bother you before and you know, I bother you like oh this happened. Like you can't even I uh, get upset like when you used to get upset. You can't even act your body like that no more. You say oh well, so it go. What if you do about that? Like, you're not stressing out yourself. Like, seriously, you're not stressing out yourself. Like, you're not stressing out yourself. You're just really at a place where you're completely good with yourself. You're good with the world. You're good with the people around you. Like, you just have this calm approach to things. Like, no, not bad at you. And people might say, why are you so calm about the situation? Like, why should I get upset? That is it. Why should I um, get upset or feel certain way about a situation that has nothing to do with me? And it's not me being a problem like if you get what me i say like and it really showed me how when you go back when you really look deep into things like god that actually give your life meaning if that makes sense but me i tell you say sometimes you're gonna meet people 
And so basically back to the fourth point when we say that uh, the devil dresses in sheep clothing Literally, it's the same thing. So may I tell you say God is the only one who can really give you a peace in this life. Him alone can give you the peace that you require. If you seek that peace from other people, it's not going to happen. People make mistakes. All of you human beings will make mistakes. We're going to mess up. We're going to disappoint each other. We're going we're gonna to do some rubbish. And all of you do rubbish sometimes. And it just shows say, peace, your peace not supposed to lie in somebody else. That's what 2023 taught me. So the sixth point for me is that, um, that 2023 taught me is that too much friends is not good. Too much friends is not good. Literally, just having a small circle of people, you're supposed to can count your friend them on your two hands them. You're supposed to can count the amount of friends on your two hands. So it shouldn't be a situation where you have uh, 50 friends. Like to me, when me hear so people have like one bag of friends, me look funny and like, you have acquaintances. You have 50 acquaintances, you don't have 50 friends. So for me, I rather keep my circle really small. Just keep it small. If you are come with no rubbish, no nonsense, nobody with it. Nobody approach me with that. Means it's about that. At this stage of my life, I just want to protect my I just want to protect my peace. You see this peace when I have a go on, I just want to keep it going. And more than likely in most situations are people actually disturb other people's peace. Because some people, you know, they might see you going on life and they see you many on business, completely unbothered. But they're bothered. And they might say, listen, no man, she too a piece, so something must be gone. And then come to stir up things. So that is that. I mean, I tell you, say, too much friends is not good. And at any day, you just need a small circle of people who you can trust and depend on. You don't need a waga waga, you don't need all that. People are wicked, straight up. People are wicked sometimes and you have to know and be able to judge who are your friend and who is not and the next thing to you know is that um something says something about um bad what do you call it bad company corrupts good moral character or something like that but basically i strongly believe that so for me you know even in 2023 what 2023 really taught me and this was so big is as much as you might have a small circle of friends if you're in a friend group and you realize that okay Certain people in the friend group, it's already a small group. We realize that certain people live a certain lifestyle. Where that you just you realize you don't want to live that way no more. You don't want um put the certain things no more. You know you know mix up in a certain mix up no more. You decide to listen. That's none of my business. I'm here for myself. Then if you're in a situation like that, remove yourself. Cause you outgrow that. You get bigger than that. No, you get bigger than the the rubbish and the mix up and the blaga blaga. So that is it. So once you realize that the friendship is not serving the sleep with alone, or if you realize that they live some you have some friends and they live a certain lifestyle and you know say you're not about that lifestyle, you're not gonna hate them now. Don't hate them. But just know say the more you keep yourself around that, more than likely them are gonna pull you back into whatever you are trying to get yourself out of. So that's one thing that 2023 taught me. And when I say me kinda distance myself a bit when I realize uh, certain things me just never wanna be a part of anymore. Not to say that it was bad, but we just want do we just don't want to be a part of it anymore. So that's one thing. It's another thing that 2023 taught me. Basically, the seventh thing that 2023 taught me is that you need to choose your friends wisely. You see, oh the circle small already, you have to choose your friends and wisely. People who are work towards the same goals as you, so people who have some similarities, people who think the way you think, people who want what you want, people who have ambition. So for example, if you know say you have an ambition to do certain things, you want to achieve certain heights and you cannot the honest truth is that you can know people, but to really say I have a friend friend in your friend group like that. If you have somebody where you go wall your back, then that is not good. Because the truth is that them don't see the vision where you see. Them not see where you are see and them not go push you or even I work towards something for themselves because they don't have that vision and that's the truth. So pick friends who see what you see. Pick friends and pick people who know and they know what you're seeing and kind of understand what you're working towards. The truth is that if you take up somebody and you make them your friend and you have a friend group and you are work towards this, them no one in their life, that friendship not going to work out. And more than likely, they're going to pull you into whatever them say them do, which is nothing, right? So pick your friends wisely.
the eighth thing that 2023 taught me is pray when things get rough i mean i tell you that 2023 was a rough 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 year like me i tell you say many times in 2023 i did confused made it lost made it stress off made it tired especially the world work and trouble thing mr listen girl match up on work and trouble tiredness lick me down for work and trouble girl me tired of stressed out stressed out stressed out stressed out me i tell you say when things get rough pray pray to god because god actually i listen to you Pray to him, tell him what's happening, tell him to listen to the stress out. We can literally remember my, how much time in 2003. I even when make my bed, Mr. God, you know, some the stress out, there's nobody tired. You know, so the people are mean to me at work, when I'm work and travel, you know, you know, there's somebody mean at work, we can't bother with them, some of them. But basically, pray to him. If you lack wisdom, if you lack understanding, if you don't understand why God put you through a particular situation, ask him, say, God, why you really do this to me? Why you have me here so why you have me go through this why many if you go through this give me the strength to go on another day pray when things get rough that's what 2023 taught me if nothing else never came to 2023 it was prayer but if you pray for myself if you pray for my family if when me that come back to jamaica listen to me the morning when me come back to jamaica i don't know why i make get that thought in my head but basically in the morning before basically i go for my work and travel if you come back to jamaica the thought come wake up early that morning. So basically the thought come to my head that morning say, Oh, the plane will may I come back on to Jamaica that will crash. I don't know why that thought come to me or whatever, but but it you know, it that literally it just hit me like the plane I go crash. I mean so why may I think say the plane I go crash? Right? But basically it was a thought. And the point is that if I get up the morning, I mean if I pray, I may say, God, I don't know what is happening, I don't know why I have that thought, I don't know why I have this feeling. But God keep me, protect me on the way. With no good plan of being for me shall prosper. And it just showed that there's so listen to me. How much things in the 2023 me avoid because of God. Listen to me. When me look back now, me could have put myself in some big mess. When me say mess, me mean mess. In some bad situations. And I God, when me pray about it, God, when me look back sometimes, I say, God, that could have been me. It could have been me in that situation, and you take me out there, you make me avoid it all together. So just pray when things get rough. The ninth thing that I learned in 2023 is don't give up when times get tough. Never give up when times get rough. And I literally go back to prayer. Even if something hard, like for example, last semester, I did ready to drop a course. I now call the course name. But I did ready to drop that course. I did ready to switch the major everything because it just that gives me hell in the course. And the point is that no matter what I try, well, Mr. Van said, do not make permanent decisions and temporary emotions. But the point is that when things get rough, sometimes we quick with us, bam, 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 we just want to get rid of the mess. We just want to get rid of whatever bother we. We just can't deal with it. The point is that don't just give up. Don't just turn the towel. Don't just say, oh, I can't bother. I give up. I'm not bother with this no more. That is not how you go through life. You have to endure things and you have to push and go through things. And that's just the honest truth. You have to push and go through. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to feel like I do this no more. All when things get rough. So that is what 2023 taught me. Don't just give up. I want to get hard. I want people to frustrate you. When people get to upset, when people get part of your last nerves. Don't just give up. Keep on working towards your goal. And now the 10th thing that 2023 taught me, and this is a serious one now. Never to dim your light for other people. And this was something that for me, basically it took me a while to realize because it was something that I was doing, what did I say, subconsciously, right? I was doing this subconsciously, so it's not like I was actively, fully, fully knowing that I was doing it, but I was doing it. And I say, I'm really sitting with myself one day, I think about it and I say, am I dimming my light for others or maybe the fear of what other people would think when me don't do certain things, right? And I'm really listening with myself and say, listen to me people, do not dim your life for other people. Don't wall us down yourself in a life with nobody. Are you wanna come out to your mother belly and are you wanna go in a degree of two? So why should you why you have to care what they want to think? It's as simple as that. Why should you care? Why should you waste your life and care what people want to think? Are you wanna go in a degree of you know? Are you one? So like live your life, people. Live your life. It's as simple as that. But well, basically, don't dim my light for people. Be the best star you can. Shine as brightly as you can. Do whatever you want as long as it's not harming anybody else. As long as it's not um, harming yourself. 
as long as it's not harming the people around you as long as it's being considered of other people's feelings we're necessary right we're necessary so don't dim a light for others be the best you whatever that is and whatever that looks like now the 11 thing that 2023 taught me is to go after your goals go after your dreams don't farm fully yourself if there's something you want to do do it make a plan and do it not just fling it down or just put it on the back burner just say, don't just say oh me can't bother me can't bother listen to me do not waste your years and this is something that me really i think about recently and i can't believe it's me almost 20. like do not waste your life so do not waste your years and i talk about oh me can't bother this can't happen listen to me you see this past year 2023 the amount of things that happened in my life when i tell you something never deserve it means i never deserve it i have no idea how me get what me get in 2023 I don't understand how me one is so blessed in 2023 and we said that 2023 was a rough year right it is rough for everybody rough for me but at the same time me not go shut my eye and go on like say 2023 was not a good year as well they were good and they were bad i mean i tell you say, 2023 was one year that i tell you say, god did god did step in my life differently god put me places and do things for me differently the amount of things me get to the 2023 I get pain, I get hurt, but bad enough in 2023. But put that aside, I get enough out of 2023. We can look back and say, like, listen, I get that, I get that, I get that, what? Well, I get one bag of something from 2023. And my life did bless in 2023. So I put aside the tears, put aside my emotions and me that get at the time, the hurt and the upset and whatever. If I put all that aside, I said, listen, God did really bless me in 2023. So if you look funny like that, you can if you just look funny like that, basically. Right? So you have to go, go you have to go after your dreams. Nobody say impossible, nobody say me can't do it, nobody say me don't know how. Cause I them something me that thing too. And when me see it happen, me say, God, how does it happen? If you ask me now if you tell you how it happened, come I'll know me myself don't know how it happened. But guess what? God is the God of the impossible, right? God of the impossible. So don't just rule it out and say it's not going to happen. Just pray and still have hope. The last point, which is the 12th point of what 2023 taught me, is to put God at the center of your life. Right? To put God at the center of your life. I'm going to tell you guys what's the difference between 2023 and all of the other years of my life. Right? I'm going to tell you what's the difference. The difference with 2023 and the other years of my life is a long time now. Is that 2023 was, I'd say, the first year of my life. That I was actually walking with God in 2023 March of 2023 I had gotten baptized right I got baptized March of 2023 so it's almost one year since I got baptized but the point is that it's the first time in my life that I actually did a work, work like me actually that work on God's timing like it did really break that like God break me down differently um, because he break me down differently and there's a song that says gracefully broken but because if god never break you down to that point you would be so obedient so i mean like i said i'm really obedient at 2023 like we never have a choice really but the point is that when you be obedient and when you follow him and you leave things up to him you actually get things done yes if me that do all that by myself girl me mash that up a long time me me ruin things for myself sometimes and it's honest truth sometimes me get in the way of my own self and that's the honest truth I tell us in 2023, I'm not going to say all the time, I put God first, but I tell us that I put an effort to do it. And the honest truth, honest truth is that in 2023, I get to go to America for the first time, not to say material things is all that, no, but I don't know I'm rich America. That's, that's a whole other story. I get um, the visa go to America, that visa they expire, I get another visa after that. Um, manage to pay off all of my tuition fees and I have I literally have zero student loan or anything I pay. Like it different. When you listen to me, it's different. It is different when you put God first. It's different. And me tell you say him to wash him hand over to the tree for my life and that's the honest truth. But basically the Bible verse that comes to my mind right now is seek ye the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added to you. So the point is that if you seek him, if you trust him, everything else will come afterwards. And at first, I never really understand. People tell me that, me say, I tell me, say, if I trust him, everything else will come afterwards. But me is literally living proof. You see, when you put on, and even the point when I say, 
don't chase money let money chase you go back to that you see the minute me take money off of my mind that is when money that run me down and me say um i guess me not really care about money like that again but then it's like when you stop putting a, like a focus focus point it really run you down it really run you down so put god first trust him and let him do everything no matter ask your body no matter ask yourself just trust him and he will do it but basically that is 12 um things that 2023 taught me if you enjoyed this video go ahead and like comment share and subscribe if 2023 taught you something go ahead and comment them down below just in case we are share the same um points or if 2023 teach us something different you can leave it down in the comment section down below um you can go ahead and subscribe to breeze adventure on youtube and basically that's it in today's video bye guys